Talk, I know you've done a number of mock-off seasons. <laughs> um, when you look at the free agent class, what do you think the Browns do to address some of their needs? And then what do you think they do draft-wise? You know, I think in the free agent class, it's a really interesting class because there's some safeties there, right? There's a lot of depth in the free agent class for safeties. And with John Johnson the third gone, all of a sudden that's a huge need. You need someone who can really play that true center field safety role, but there's a lot of those. The Jesse Bates the third is at the top of the list, but the Juan Thornhills of the world, you might get those a lot cheaper, which will allow you to do some a few different things. And so given what I've seen them do in the past, I could see them look at a player like Juan Thornhill, a one, two-year deal, and then a Draymond Jones, someone on the defensive line that that's going to cost a little bit more money but really fills a huge need for that team, especially with what Jim Schwartz wants to do in the wide nine. Those two moves in and of themselves will open up the team in the draft, and they can do a lot of different things. I think the one thing I expect the team to do is to trade back. Uh, just <laughs> go, to be, go figure. <laughs> right, and, and next year they have two selections in the first four rounds, right? And so just two selections in the first four rounds – isn't enough for Andrew Barry. And so it wouldn't shock me to see a move where they're not really improving this year, but they're adding a little bit more, another top 100 pick next year. Um, and the good thing is for the Browns, and this this feels like it's almost lucky, but every year the draft sees the lineup exactly with what they need. <laughs> a strong offensive line draft, they needed an offensive lineman. Uh, Greg Newsom, there was a lot of depth in kind of that middle. They, they ended up with Jeremiah wusu koromoa In this year's draft, it's defensive line. And it's a lot of depth really in kind of second, third, fourth round. So I think everything lines up exactly with what they need, and they really need to spend a lot of energy on that defensive line.